Can you hear me, see me? Interviewing the Maharishi is a very strange experience. Maharishi, hello. We could hear him in the room upstairs, but this is as close as we were allowed to get, talking via a monitor with faulty sound. Why can't we meet? It's very difficult. I don't meet new people these days. Why is that? Because new people waste my time, that's all. I don't have time to waste anymore. Now, I'm busy, very busy, creating a perfect man. Uh, how many followers uh, do you have? Countless. <laughs> I stopped counting. It was the Beatles who really put the Maharishi on the spiritual map. They established you in the world. No, no, forget about it. No? <laughs> forget about it. The Beatles made me popular in the world. Forget about it. My teaching is important through which Australia can become an invincible country. Just now, Australia is a slave of Britain. My transcendental meditation can make Australia invincible. Take this message and stop here. Okay, tell me, are you able to fly yourself? I don't want to talk to you. Why is that? Why is that? Any questions? He requested, sorry. He requested, he holds the rein, he is being interviewed. He said, stop here, we stop here. That's Your questions were then you understand the speciality and crassness that was beyond belief. Send these people. Well, I mean, it's yes. reasonable yes, to no, ask you if you can fly. Can I ask if he can fly? Yes, yes. Now you have to leave. All of you should leave from here immediately from this ridiculous interview.